Red Bull Racing. Time for the Pick'em Race 6 out of 7. We're looking at the Target Decades. As you can see, as I my kids apparently like car 9 and 10. There's 10 cars in this set. Since we only have actually two races left, I thought a 10 car tournament would be kind of lame. So I actually found Spider Man. Uh, Walmart, it is a six car set, but same as over here. It came up here tonight, and we are missing a car, so. We ain't doing that. But once again, always hunting Hot Wheels. We have found just earlier on Wednesday at the Holiday Hot Rod set from Walmart. Rapid Responder Zodic Jackhammer, which has a metal base. And Overboard 454, the Carbonator and Pedal Driver. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take those 10, we're gonna add these six, and we're gonna have ourselves a big ass tournament for race number six. I'll try to make race number seven a lot of cars too, because I love this. But Hot Wheels is putting out a ton of sets right now, so let's get them raced. Let's do this. I think I've, uh, I'm going to start unpacking these. I kind of run my mouth a little bit. Um, unfortunately, two days ago, we had Terry Hill, who has just been craving a big dose of red pill. That went a sweet. He, uh, he actually had been really slowing down and uh, ended up losing to Kiko Motorsports. Congratulations to him. First car we're going to open. Dodge Charger Art. Let's see if we can get a better shot of here. So, looks like Thanksgiving. If, if there's a race of road, you know, love it. Probably gonna be uh, busy. I don't know if Mr. Adriel 3D Bot Maker I'm gonna be putting a video up or not, but uh, I'm sure we'll be due tomorrow. If not, after that, we race it into Ernie Rally Cat. Anyway, that's what we got coming up now. R&D put him out for you with the unpainted Here's the charger. If you look at my car, as you can see, where's my camera at on this thing? There it is. Thing's got the fatties on the back. Regulars on the front. I'll try to weigh these things for two days ago. Yeah. So Walmart's been putting out a lot of cool sets lately. The sad thing about them is most of them have been Malaysia cars. A charger, 37 grams. So, if you like the charger, there's you. Car number two. Grand Chero. This is a Target set, of course. This is not a Walmart set, but it's made in Malaysia. Just hitting and putting on a bunch of good wheels. I mean, it is a sharp looking car. Wheels actually don't roll too bad. That metallic purple. Pretty cool. Ranch arrow coming in at 37 grams. Three in the target decades. Boom. 
probably my favorite looking car in this. There's the Series 1 and Series 2, I don't know which one this is. I'm missing one out of the other series, so that's what we're going with. The 83 Silverado. Let's see, he's got uh, all skinny wheels. Well, not skinny, more like the standards, I guess. Good looking car. Not ideal with the fenders covering it. But it's a little heavier than 36. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that car is 51 grams. That's a heavy little stop. So there's a Chevy truck. Oh, uh, next. 85 Camaro Unlock. I still love these cars growing up, I guess. Not growing up. I when I was sick, so. I love these Camaros. All these Target Decades cars have that almost color changing sparkle paint. This Camaro does not have the big wires on the back. That one's real quiet. It's like 31 grams. 85 I rock. Plastic body, pla or metal body, plastic base on all these cars, I believe. One of my other favorites in this set has got to be that 86 Monty. Fatties on the back, regulars on the front. That medium and small height combo that most of us will have. Seems to roll pretty decent. I really have always liked these cars too, focusing in. It's kind of a matte finish, but it does have a little sparkle and it's kind of strange. The old five spokes. Coming in at 36 grams at that Monte Carlo. Next up. 99 Sheriff Mustang. I thought we had a Sheriff's Mustang out for a while on these cars. I don't know. Maybe not sure. She's gonna be watching some Thanksgiving guys. Hope she's going to be filming the things, having some you know, just relax time making some good memories. The 99 Mustang. Yeah, it's got some gloss paint on it. But all these small five spot wheels. And this is feels heavier than I thought it was going to. I think it's probably yeah, 37. Not too bad of a car. Let's see the wheels. They're a little loud on the back, but overall pretty good car. 99 Mustang. Number 7. The Viper RT team. And they've been making similar cars to these since shit. Like late 90s, I guess, in Hot Wheels. Quiet. And I've, I don't even know how many I've bought, but I've always had hopes they'd be fast. Never had a fast one, never. But they got them, they don't have the small tires, they got the medium height tires, so that's usually when I like to run and race them. Uh, never had any luck. The Viper RT10, 35 grams, 34, 35 grams. That's what you like. There's your dude. Number eight. Strangely enough, is number six. That makes no sense. But it is a C6, so it makes some sense. I do like the phones. That's going to be mud and a you know, more modern Corvette. Might be one I would pick just simply due to the fact that it does not have fatties on the back. It's not a destinance, but uh, you can make some pretty fast cars. But I've always had better luck with the skinnies all the way around. So, good looking car. That's the C6 Corvette. Number nine. Convertible 
terrible. Can't see it in a funky colour. Calls me up by a spoke. Oh, it's used to be expected on a Malaysia car. I mean, it's kind of in. 31, 31 grams. All the camera is super light. Not impressed with the wheels, and it does have the fat wheels on the back, which I just think it better spinning wheels. So, what do we say? Does it ask? Number 10 in a decade set. It's probably my favorite looking car. The Dodge Challenger SRT. So we started with the Charger. Finished with the Challenger. Well, I say my favorite, but there was a lot of good cars in this. Good looking cars, and I'm struggling. Let me grab color gloss paint of course plastic bottom and it's got the damn fatties on it not a hemi guy but it's a sharp look at the hemi written down the side watch some guitar that broke today his first race um, i'm sure a ton of people picked that f40 because who wouldn't pick f40s they didn't want to be fast i picked that other one is that the 354, 254, whatever Ferrari? I've got some of those here that are actually they're really fast. They, they don't run with the fastest F40, but well, the dice, he was up two to nothing, and I'll be damned if that F40 didn't come back. The next six cars, I really think the winner's coming out of these. I'll tell you why in a little bit. This rapid responder. I don't want to be a fast car. I got that. I don't even know if you can see those or peak. Over the past weekend, I've been putting in some work. If you watched that large charge race, it was very sad. And it's a little bit different now. I don't know what it weighed before, but it wasn't 64 grams. He didn't have skull wheels, so it's a little something to think about. And the white car there. That car looks almost like a rabbit. A white rabbit? Hmm. Alright, the struggle's over with the <laughs> rapid responder. Rapid responder 51 grams. Rapid responder coming in at 51 is going to be a tough part of the deal with. You watch him in the back at 64, you see that uh, my little boy, five year old team, who of course I pick his cars out. He likes to race with me, but. When it comes to picking his cars, I help him out. He won a few races with them today. Not that new one, but those rapid responders. There's that number two car, the Zotic in the 2019 Hot Wheels. And shop pack. This is. I can hold it. He's on it, except 35 grams, but again, wheel spin is good. Number three, car I'm breaking. What? It is the jackhammer. Not many wagons from Hot Wheels you can get that have 
so we're gonna use you know got a metal base but it's only 40 grams so it's not real heavy uh, jackhammer is a sweet looking casting like i picked up a few most of the you know, wagons like this Halloween month bar all covered in this so a couple of finger balls but again this set just came out at my Walmart today listen to wheels oh you can't hear them they are smooth there you go jackhammer three left in the race line up this one is the overboard 454 Picked up quite a few of these different castings. I knew they were gonna have the wheels, but I pay attention to things. I mean, you just can't get the white wheels everywhere every day. Yeah, that might be just what I need one day, but it's got the fatties. Let's see. I mean, it's nice. A bore 454, 34 grams. Too much. A lot of people like this car. I've got quite a few. It is the carbonator. Got some that are decent. Got some that are pretty fast. Got some that suck. So, who knows? You know, <laughs> every day I'm out, I swing down. I'll pass a Walmart and store that's known to have some hot rolls. I've been seeing them and checking them out. And it's a carbonator. It seems like they're putting out so many sets. I've just got so many new cars that I haven't raced. I'll maybe start a new series like uh, I've actually built up. Shit, Clear Palace Matchbox with a carbonator. 35 grams, pretty good. Maybe the Matchbox. Hot Wheels Challenge. I don't know if Mike looks similar to that thing. Last car up. It is the pedal driver. Paint on this is really cool. Everything about this car to me is that I kind of like it. And it's actually, for what it is, a fast car. It seems like just about all of them have recent wheels. Mm. Let me get it to focus on that paint. Right. You probably see the sparkle. That's a really nice paint. Didn't really know it. And for such a small car, 30 grams, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, big 16 car race. I think I've decided what I'm going to do for a proud pack. Uh, whoever wins the finale race from the winner from these initial eight races, uh, what we're going to do is I'll talk to you, see what your favorite casting and a few castings are. Uh, See what I got of those. I'll put you together a nice little package. Right. And we'll put a little red pill mod on one for you. See if I can build you your fastest car to have. That's the lineup. There's the target set. Here's the Charger. Ranchero. Chevy truck. Camaro, Iraq, Monte Carlo, 99, Mustang, Viper, C6, Corvette, Must, uh, Mustang, Camaro Concept, Challenger, Rapid Response, Zodic, Jackhammer, 454, Pedal Driver, and Carbonator. So that is the lineup. Put your pick in the comments. Winner of this race will join the van. <laughs> JP, 3D Bob Maker's vet. Had a few people on the Mustang. I think James Clemens is the only one that picked that. And maybe I wonder if the only two to pick that. I'll try to put a list out at the next race of who's in the finals. 
Got a little Ford 73 camper top advanced last time. Who's gonna join him? Don't know. I know it could be any of these. But these are all mods. Oh, I was gonna tell you, if you hung out this long, the uh, reason I knew those New Year's cars were gonna be fast is they came from the newest plant, the Indonesia plant. And every car, I guess I'll we'll throw this little tip out there, but let me read this here. All Hot Wheels, of course, on the bottom will say where they came from. A lot of the five packs, or maybe all of them at this point, are coming from Indonesia. But making good wheels, I guess they got new tooling, new factory. Indonesia cars are killing Malaysia. And killing whatever that other place is. Real quick, let's show some stuff I've been working on. I'm really getting with it over the weekend on some mods, just kind of playing around. So, first of all, finally, and this car was probably the toughest car ever to make fast. Usually, I would have given up on this slug. James Clayman wanted this escort little red pill custom job, and man, it was a monster. I must have put six or eight sets of wheels on this, trying to make it decent. Finally, the Evo wheels color changer did the job, which I don't know why they didn't really spin any better than anything else, but uh, man, I had to hog that fender wheel out just a touch. This the way this older car was put together, so many different pieces in there, it was a nightmare to get the bigger wheel in, but you can probably see it's barely got clearance in that thing. But it's fast. Not the fastest I got, won't be the fastest he's got, but I don't think you'll find any escorts faster. But that'll be going out to James soon. Like I said, I already showed you that large charge. Large charge is going to be going back to sub for RE for some rematch races. And who else is coming? It's the Black 30. The Red Pill Racing. I'm going to jump up in some NASCAR events. Because if I'm racing, you know I should be in that Black 3. Come on now. And I did not weigh it down crazy. It's 58 grams. Red wheels looking sharp. This is actually a racing champions, old school. And we coming, we coming for the truck series, which should be out at least by 2020. 20, more I know. We coming a little heavier in this. I don't know who my other two drivers are because I'm in three trucks. Michael's Diecast Garage sponsoring the Red Bill Junior team, so. But we'll have Red Pill, Mr. Red Pill himself, Frank, in one of them. I love them Tacomas. Did a little custom work on that thing. Blacked him out a little bit, but pretty heavy car. Truck 2 coming. It's going to be a rig storm. Check that mug out. A little custom paint, Red Pill style. These are not super heavy, 61, but, uh, that weight's down low, that lead weight, because I ain't got tungsten money. TX Chemist, good guy, killing me, son. Third car, which will probably be the one I'm driving, just because I like the Rados. The number three Silverado may paint him black, too, because I need some team chemistry here, black and red, right? 60 grams. We might throw a little something, something extra in there, but that's... Actually running pretty decent right now, 60, we'll see. Some other ones I was playing with for 3D Bot Maker. You know, I, for the circuit race coming up, I don't even know. I try to throw a little custom fade paint on the Velocita. Coming in at 130. I'm 
I'm still tuning all these mods in. It's got like one pass on the track, so uh, we'll see what happens. Initial test look good on this bad boy. Got everybody sleeping. If you wonder why I'm kind of quiet, this my friends is the white rabbit. Preview. Mm. I was talking to uh, the room about the uh, races, and he said, uh, "Man, it'd be cool if you had a a white car and named it the White Rabbit." So that's what we got here. I don't know what's up with my camera. I'm focusing. I guess focus in the back, but I'm trying. I don't know. Focus in. out. Let's see. Let's see what it'll do. Get some testing in it. May show up. Uh, may race somewhere else. I don't know. Let's see. Because it's the white rabbit. But it may not be the white rabbit. Looks like a rabbit. It's got him rabbit teeth. Rabbit ears and that bunny tail. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. <laughs> I really kind of want to send this. Just so I could send a monster in the 3D Bob Maker also. That's that new Volkswagen. Which used to be called the Rabbit, I believe, before it was changed to the Golf GTI. 190, that could be the White Rabbit. We'll see. Find some testing, put them both a whole gold wheels on it. And all these were possible White Rabbits. Dead Monty. 165 I wired them all out. Never modded any of these cars, so it's all kind of experimental. Last up, boom. Never built one. I've thought about it for a while. The Torx Crew 131. <clears throat> the reason I've wanted to do it, you know, this is uh, to me, this looks like a, of course, it's a fantasy casting, but it looks like a mix between a Mustang. And the F40. Both of them are fast. Let's see what I can do with this bad boy. And I've got a little long winded in this video, so. Whatever, whatever. Hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe learn something, saw something you like. Now get out to Walmart, buy those holiday cars, because they're going to be going fast. At least the one Walmart I found them in today, they had them on the. Uh, there's a little inside cap, so shit, I bought 15 of them, and it was like probably like a quarter of what they had. So, I'm gonna get out there, pick these up, pick a car, tune in 3D Bot Maker, check out Red Pill, trying to get back on top with that, <laughs> that TX chemist sneak at the end with some FTE mods. See how fast it is. I'm sorry, it's you, Kiko, because uh, I think that rally cat's gonna bust that, <laughs> bust that car to pieces. I don't even care. I only really wanted to throw that rally cat in because I was wanting to knock out James Clayman, well, Terry Hill. But uh, I really kind of would like to see one of my 75 gram cars run it, but I think it's probably too late. I got a McLaren, a 350Z, and a BMW that would probably make him look slow. Anyway, it's real late. I'm rambling. Pick your car. Put it in the comments. I'm going to try to get this race up as fast as I can. I'm trying to race it now. Maybe schedule it 24 hours from now. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good holiday season. Hope you get some racing in. I hope you can discover the truth in speed. Like Red Pill Racing. I'm out.